Good morning and welcome to Easter Sunday. Today is our great day of joy and celebration. Happy Easter to everybody. It's the best day of the year. All this week, myself, Sarah Tierney and Julie Waring and Julie Miles from the churches across Scunthorpe, St George's, St Lawrence and All Saints, have been joining together to help us to remember the events of Holy Week. We've made hot cross buns, we've built prayer dens, we've made Easter gardens and palm crosses, we've made charts for kindness, we've done all sorts of things to help us to remember what happened on that first Holy Week. And now we've reached the most joyful of days, Easter Day. So let's begin as we have done throughout this week. Peace be with you. Today our key question is, who is Jesus to you? And to help us to start to think about that, I'm going to read from today's passage from the Bible. As the dawn broke on Easter Sunday morning, the women went back to the tomb with spices to get the body ready for a proper burial. How will we move the huge stone, Mary wondered. But when they got there, the stone was already rolled back. The women walked into the tomb and stopped in distress. The body had gone. Suddenly, the earth rocked under their feet and shafts of light blazed out as an angel appeared in front of them. They stopped distressed as they were extremely frightened. Why are you looking for a body? The angel asked them. Jesus isn't here. He's risen. Don't you remember him telling you that this would happen? They were about to rush back to the disciples when, good morning, a voice said suddenly, and there he was, Jesus, alive again. They fell on their knees and worshipped him, full of joy. Wow. Those women had been through a lot. They'd started off at the beginning of Holy Week with Jesus, their prophet, their teacher, the man that they'd followed for several years. He was a good man. He was their friend. They hoped that he was going to be the Messiah, the one who would help to um, help the Jewish people get free from the Roman Empire. And then he'd been taken and crucified and died and they'd placed his body in this tomb. But now, following this earth-shattering moment and this blaze of light, suddenly Jesus is much more than they imagined. He's much more than they perhaps even hoped. Instead of him just being a man and a teacher and a prophet, suddenly they're faced with the reality that he's more than that. He is a man risen from the dead. He is God. And so we cannot help but listen to the Easter story and be asked the same question. Who is Jesus for us? Is he just a good person? Is he wise? Is he a good teacher? Is he maybe a swear word? Is he a myth? Or do we look at the Easter story and say anyone who can be raised from the dead has to be someone unique, has to be someone powerful, has to be God? So we all get the chance to answer the question, who is Jesus to me? Who do I think that he is? For those of us who've already thought about this question and come to the conclusion that he is God, that he is the son of God, that he is someone special, unique and wonderful, today is an amazing day as we celebrate his resurrection from the dead. It's a day of great joy. We can celebrate with our family and with our friends. We can celebrate, we hope, with some of the things that you found in your Easter pack. You should find a little envelope within the main envelope and in there you'll find a party popper and an Easter egg because day's a day of celebration. You might also want to plant seeds as a sign of new life or decorate your palm cross and put it up in the window to show your joy at the resurrection. You might want to get your Easter garden. 
You might even want to take your chalice and your pattern that you made out of the salt dough and decorate it. And again, within your Easter envelope, you will find some gems and there's a supplementary video to show you what you can do to really make your chalice look beautiful. However you celebrate today, and I pray that you'll be able to celebrate in some way with family and friends. I pray that you can enjoy this day as we celebrate the resurrection. So as we draw our holy week to an end, let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for this wonderful day, the day we remember that you rose from the dead. Help us to worship you with joyful hearts today and to tell others this amazing and wonderful good news. Amen. A very happy Easter. I hope you enjoy your Easter egg and that there's plenty more Easter eggs where that one came from. Many blessings. It's been a joy to walk this week with you. Bye.